the good life full of fun seems to be the hey guys welcome to my kitchen another big exciting day in my kitchen where are we going what are we making i thought today we would take a trip down to puglia italy doesn't that sound great there's a there's a recipe there's a dish and i, I don't even know if you want to call it a dish necessarily you know it's always going to be a kind of a side you're going to add it to basically anything you can have it as a as an appetizer and that's going to be deep fried mushrooms and I'll tell you this is simple and it's fun and it's easy and I love it it just brings back those those delicious flavors of that uh, kind of that ancient feeling of, of of a village in Italy so let's go over some ingredients and have some fun so first off center stage here the big character is going to be our mushrooms now here's the great deal on these mushrooms you're going to use about a pound and a half ish you know, again, it's Italian cooking, guys. You know what I'm saying? So, so about a pound and a half of mushrooms. You can pretty much use any kind of mushroom you want. So what I've got here is a porcini mushroom, right? And what I like about the smaller rush mushroom, it doesn't have to be smaller, but what I like about that is we're gonna slice these. So when you slice them, it just gives you that beautiful kind of silhouette of a mushroom. So I think just visually, it's, it's a lot more beautiful. I think it's a lot more appetizing to look at a smaller mushroom. You can use whatever kind of mushroom you wanna do, okay? So mushrooms, number one. Now what we wanna do is we wanna, we're gonna bread these, okay? So I've got about a half of a cup of flour. Now what I did here is, I like a, an unenriched, non-bleached flour. That way I'm not getting any other flavor other than that beautiful depth of flour, okay? And I've got here the pastry flour. Again, I don't know that it's gonna be massively critical here, but with a pastry flour, the protein content is a little lower, so it's just gonna give you more of a delicate crunch. Now I wanna add to that crunch just a little bit. So what I've got here is some cornstarch. So I've got two tablespoons of cornstarch, and then we're gonna wanna wet the mushrooms, right, before we bread them. So I've got here two whole eggs room temp, which will be great, and I've got two tablespoons of heavy cream. And the cream is gonna add that, just that beautiful flavor. Now we're doing something really light here. It's gonna highlight the flavor of the mushroom. We're not, we don't wanna add a lot of flavor to the breading. We wanna, we wanna let the flavor of that mushroom come out with a nice seared crunch. We definitely wanna add some seasoning to the mushroom, so we're gonna add some of black pepper so I got fresh ground black pepper that'll be great that's the only way to go if you can do it and then I've got some salt here so as you guys know a lot of times I'll get flaky salt from uh, Sicily which I have which is great um, I'll do some gray sea salt which I love uh, from France today we're using some pink Himalayan salt it's uh, you know it's earthy it's briny it's 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 a little bit more subtle, doesn't have a hard bite, and I always say, hey, because it's pink and it's pink Himalayan, it's sexy, you know what I'm saying? So why not have some sexy porcini mushrooms? And then last but not least, we're gonna use some olive oil here. Now, as you guys know, my regulars, I got a farm in Italy, and we uh, co-op with a group of farms to bring you really what I consider some of the best olive oil you'll ever have. It's all Italian olives. They pick fresh, they crush them, and we bottle it, we ship it right here to the United States, and uh, I have two boys, Vito and Joe, so I named the company after them. And our olive oil is, uh, it's its earthy, and its it's got a little bit of a grass to it, and then it's got a quick pepper kick right to the back end of it. Absolutely delicious. I call it a trip to Italy right in a bottle, and you guys can go right on our website, cookingitalianwithjoe.com, or you go right to our Facebook, click the Buy It Now button. You can order yourself a bottle. We sell it in a large or small, or a case, or even a larger quantity, and we drop ship it. We drop ship it right to your house, right to your front doorstep. All right, so number one here, we gotta get our mushrooms ready. So we don't wanna wet the mushroom, um, because mushrooms already have a tremendous amount of moisture in them, but we do wanna, we wanna clean them, and we wanna make sure the stems aren't really sticking up, because the stem's gonna be really tough. Right, so we wanna keep some of it, but just a little bit. So nice and simple, you're gonna see there's a little dirt on this one, right? And then you've got that stem. So what I like to do is just get that stem basically flush, just be gentle, and then I'm just gonna let that dry off and clean it off. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep all these and we'll get rocking. Okay guys, our mushrooms are perfect, right? They're clean and I took off a chunk of that stem. Now I wanna slice them. So I'm gonna take a larger knife in this case and I wanna put a nice, slice across the mushroom. I want a good quarter inch and what I'm looking for is that beautiful slice right there and you're gonna find you're gonna get a nice profile. See that beautiful profile of the mushroom? Isn't that great? So I'm gonna slice them all up just like that. I'm gonna put them back in my bowl. Alright guys, mushrooms are cut. Now you're gonna see here, see how 
They're all the same width. That's really important because you want them to cook exactly the same time, and it was easy. So I got all these up, took me a few minutes, got the music of Frank Sinatra in the background, that's great. Now I'm gonna get my flour, like my dredge mixture going. All right, first let's take our flour. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get a couple ingredients here, right? So I'm gonna take my flour, so I'm gonna pop my half a cup, and then I'm gonna put my cornstarch, right? Two tablespoons. I'm gonna put some pink Himalayan salt. You know, a good pinch in there, because we wanna season that breading. And then we're gonna put some pepper in there, fresh ground. So you want the same thing, you're going a little bit more than a pinch. And now we're going to give that a good stir. So flour seasoned and ready to go. Now i got to get my liquid here, so I'm going to take my eggs. Now I always do a clear bowl with my egg, that way you can see if you have any shell. And then break those yolks. Now I'm always going to give it a, a good mix first. And anybody knows me, I never add water to anything, so I'm always going to add flavor. In this case, I'm going to add that cream. It's got a good fat content in there. It's going to be great. Now, guys, it's time for the assembly line. So I got my mushrooms. I got my egg and cream. I got my seasoned flour. I've got a plate here to just get rocking on. And I'm just going to go ahead and start dredging this. What's nice about this, it makes it fun. You guys got plenty of time to subscribe to our channel and grab yourself a bottle of olive oil. Isn't that perfect? It's actually great, isn't it? So I'm going to start with a handful of mushrooms. I'm going to get them coated. Just take your time. That's adding that flavor, right? You've got the egg the cream, and then you're just gonna take this with your flour, give it a light dusting. That's all we're looking for. We're not looking for a heavy, heavy dusting. That's it, you're looking for just that. Okay, not perfect. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set that on my plate, and I'm gonna get rocking. All right guys, mushrooms floured, ready to go, all right? Now I've got a porcelain pan. I like to use the porcelain that's got the white interior. That way you can see what's happening, you can judge how well it's it's being cooked, right? How crispy, how brown it is, so that's perfect. I've got a, about an inch of Vito and Joe's olive oil in there, so that's fantastic. Uh, and another tip here, you gotta have a rack going, a little salt just to finish it up, something to get them out of the oil. Those will all be great tips. A couple other tips too, what really gets these to come out, I mean like old school Italy deliciousness, is if you guys subscribe to our channel. So there's a red button right there. And when you guys subscribe to our channel, what it does is uh, any notifications, any new trips, any new recipes, it'll come right in your notification box. And it's great, I'll tell you, it means a lot to me when you subscribe to our channel, it makes you part of the family, you know what I'm saying? Second, don't forget, you jump right on our website, Cooking Italian with Joe, or right on our Facebook, buy it now, grab yourself a trip to Italy right in a bottle, Vito and Joe's olive oil. All right, I got my mushrooms, let's get frying. I'm gonna put those up nice and close, so don't drop them to splatter, just set them right in there, okay? Now these are gonna take literally moments, so don't put more in there than you can handle. Boy, if you guys could smell that right there, ho oh, oh. ho. And we're looking for a golden brown. Not dark, but just a little bit of gold happening on that flour. Okay guys, it's been about three minutes tops. See how perfect that is? Beautiful brown. So I'm gonna spread them right over on my rack. And once they're on the rack, put just a little bit of salt, just a pinch of it. So as he's cool, I'm gonna go right back to frying. All right guys, I got some more frying to do, but Oh boy, that smells good. And doesn't that just look gorgeous? I mean, it just has that beautiful view of old Italy. It's just perfect. Always my favorite time, guys, to taste. I'll tell you, the kitchen is just filled with that beautiful flavor, that that aroma of, uh, of mushroom. Mmm, these are so hot. Oh yeah, absolutely perfect crunch to it. You know, they just got a beautiful snap to them. Mmm, when the mushroom comes through, and you got that flavor of the flour, the salt, the pepper. I just love it because it just allows the beautiful flavor, that hearty, rustic flavor of the of the mushroom to come right through. Mm. I'll tell you, just that. That alone is perfect. That alone is a beautiful little treat. Isn't it something to get started with? A little appetizer, maybe a little glass of Prosecco. I mean, life is good, right? A little Vito and Joe's olive oil. Hey, how you doing, right? Guys, thanks so much for joining me in the kitchen today. Remember, subscribe to that channel. Love to make you part of the family. Hop on our Cooking Italian with Joe website or right on Facebook, click buy it now. Love to drop ship a bottle of Vito and Joe's olive oil, a trip to Italy right in the bottle, right to your doorstep. And guys, remember, shut off the electronics and the TV and the cell phone, even just for a little bit. And, and surround your table with your family, your kids, 
you know, make a mess, share stories, learn about your grandparents and your parents, and you know, in the end you're going to set some traditions that'll last a lifetime. They certainly did for me, and you get a chance to celebrate your heritage. What could be better than that, huh? Good Guys, night. until next week, for my kitchen, yours, bon appetit, though.